Hello, so here we start the chapter 2. We'll talk about functions and their graphs. Okay, chapter 2 is about functions and their graphs. Sorry. So, uh, 2.1 is talking about linear equations in two variables. And uh, we'll also talk about slots. So the simplest mathematical model for relating two variables is the linear equation and two variables and here you have these two variables which are y and x so y equals to what? mx plus b this is linear because you don't have any power on the x x is just a power of 1 and you have the two variables here are y and x actually m and b will be later uh, replaced by numbers so the equation is called linear because its graph is a line. It's a straight line, actually. It's going to be a straight line. Okay. So, uh, the line y equals to mx plus b crosses y, at least at point b. So, this point b is called our y-intercept. That means, if you have a graph here, this, the place where we're going to cross the y-axis, it will be called the b, or it can be called the y-intercept, but in the formula is at the number b. For example, if it was y equals to mx plus 3, that means this number is here 3 and what does it mean M as I told you B means Y intercept what does it mean M M means the slope what does it mean slope it's the steepness uh, like if you want to understand it in an example let's say this is a slope and from the same point this is another slope this another slope this a so it's uh, the steepness of this graph it is called slope or given by this number m okay the slope of a non vertical line is the number of units the line rises or falls vertically for each unit of horizontal change from left to right okay you'll understand more on this one once we start having examples So I'm trying just to check some stuff. Okay. Okay. Just give me a minute. So I'll summarize for you what I said here. Yeah, for a um, for a linear graph, you'll have y equals to m x plus b. This b is the y-intercept. And this m is the slope. We'll discuss later about the slope, but I hope you understood what is the b. For example, if you have this graph, if this is my graph, this is point b. If you have another graph, this would be our point b. That means where the graph is going to touch the y-intercept. Okay. This is talking about how to calculate a slope. Calculating a slope will be change in y over change in x or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But here, pay attention, x1 is not supposed to equal to x2. So uh, this will be the way how we will calculate our slope. We will we'll have examples on this. For example, we have these two points, 3, 4, and 5, 7. You can name them. Of course, the first coordinate is x and the second one is y. So here you can say x1 and y1, and here you can say x2 and y2, or you can use even the opposite. This is x2, y2, and here you can say x1, y1. It doesn't make any difference, by the way. The answer will be the same. 
so we said that slope is change in y divided by change in x this delta means change so first let's do what is our change in y slope that means m change in y means y2 minus y1 which is 7 minus 4 and then x2 minus x1 5 minus 3 okay so 7 minus 4 equals to what equals to 3 and 5 minus 3 equals to 2 so our slope is 3 over 2 okay and you have the same thing here you can check these examples again x1 and y1 here you have x2 and y2 so y2 minus y1 will give you 2 minus 2 and x1 minus x2 2, 2 minus minus 1 it will be plus 1 so 0 over 3 will give you 0 so the slope is here just 0 and here you'll have another example which is 3 4 and 3 1 again x1 y1 x2 y2 so on this graph uh, you'll do like y1 minus y2 which is 1 minus 4 it will give you negative 3 and 3 minus 3 which will give you 0 but as I, t as I told you it's not supposed to be x1 equals to x2 because this will be undefined okay now let's talk about the graphs corresponding these slopes here you have a positive slope and here you have a zero slope and here you have undefined slope okay when you have a positive slope you'll have a normal graph that we will talk about later but if your slope is zero if the slope is zero you'll have a horizontal line like this it will be a horizontal line on which point on the point which is two because here you have two and two here okay if the slope is undefined that means you have a vertical line on which point on x which is three so undefined slope means vertical line zero slope means horizontal line then we'll talk about a positive or negative slope okay okay so positive slope negative slope uh, no no a negative slope we'll discuss about this too but zero slope is horizontal and undefined slope is vertical okay all right what does it mean a positive slope it means oh sorry <laughs> okay positive slope means the line rises from left to right that means it will raise from left to right from left to right it will go up a negative slope means the line falls from left to right it will fall down so always you have to s to check your graph from left to right same thing here from left to right so this will be negative slope and this is for a positive slope and don't forget uh, this formula now we'll talk about another formula which is point slope form of the equation of a line you'll have y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 this is also another optional um, formula for the linear graphs okay based on the formula that we took now we have a question find the slope intercept from the equation of a line that has a slope of 3 and passes through the point 1 minus 2 before this I gave you I gave you what I gave you two points and I told you to find the slope now I'm giving you a slope and I'm giving you a point and I'm asking you to find this linear formula so the formula is y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1 am I right so always y and x are just variables put them as they are y and x are just variables but what is y1 this one call it x and y so y1 will be minus 2 equals to m is the slope which is 3 
into x the variable minus x1 which is 1 open the bracket here minus minus will give you plus 2 and 3x 3 times 1 minus 3 collect the like terms take the 2 back y equals to 3x minus 3 minus 2 which will give you y equals to 3x minus 5 look this is your linear formula now minus 5 is the y-intercept 3 is the slope and this is your formula so two points here you have a knot two point from the equation of a line which is x1 y1 and x2 y okay give this one for the next video I'll give you some questions now that I want you to try here Okay, the first question is saying find the slope of a graph passing through the two points which are 2 minus 1 and minus 3, 5. Second question, find the linear formula of a graph whose slope is negative 3 and passes through the point 2 minus 5. <coughs>